Pani Selvar surmised that what Aradam had said happened. When Kundave Devi and Vanathi reached the Chola mansion in Tiravayat, they stopped the palanquin and their entourage there. Sembian learned that Mathavi, his son, and daughter-in-law had gone to the temple. After telling the palace guards that they too were going to the temple, they went in search of the soothsayer's house, taking only one warrior with them. Yes, after his house was swept away by the flood, Kyudan the Sodhidar came to Thiruvayaru. He built a small house on the banks of the Kaveri at the eastern side of the city and started living there. When he came to know through divination that Tanjavur would henceforth become more important than the old city, it may have been the reason why he came and settled in Tiravayaru. As they entered the threshold of Josiah's house, a very sweet voice from within called out, Come, come, dancing queens! Come, dancing queens! Both the goddesses were surprised to hear someone greet them. They entered, wondering who the one who had previously kept a rogue disciple as a guard had now hired to invite such intercessory hospitality. Their amazement was over when they saw a beautiful green parrot in a cage hanging from the ceiling. And the green parrot shook his head this way and that, staring at them with his little bell-like eyes, and said again, Come, dancing queens, come! Said. The soothsayer also came from inside to the hall after hearing the parrot's voice and the symbols of the ladies. Seeing the demigods, he was startled and said, Come! Demigods! Come! This hut has been blessed for today! Said. The green parrot also opened his coral mouth and said, This hut has been blessed for today! Said. The astrologer looked at it and said, Chi-Chi! Be still for a moment! Shut up! said. Sir! Why are you angry about it? It welcomes those who come in a good manner. It seems that many people come here every day and make this hut a blessed hut for today. Moreover, it seems that queens and princesses come here without rest! said the youngest brat. Come on! Dancing queens! Come on! said the parrot. The astrologer shook it again and said, Divimer. Forgive me. When Lord Thirujanana Sambandha came to this Thiruvayar, he saw dance halls all over the streets. In them, he heard the foot gas sounding Kalir Kalir while the monks were learning to dance. He also sang his divine hymns. Just like on that day, dance is learned in this Thiruvayar. There are so many nuns. They often come to this hut to ask fortune telling. I used to say this to this clique so that it would be good for them. Please forgive me. Said. Don't you see any of those dance queens here today? Said Kundave. Devi. Today is Tiravad Hirai's auspicious day. Therefore, the queens and dancing queens would have gone to serve in the presence of the five lords. But you, the true queens, have come. This cottage has blessed me. I am the blessed one said the astrologer ecstatically. Then, please sit down. Ask this poor man what you came to ask. I'll tell you as far as I know. Said. Both the princesses sat down. Kundave sighed once and said, Astrologer. What are you asking? Is there any truth in this astrological science? She said. Devi. If you ask like this, what shall I say? Astrology is true for those who believe. It is false for those who do not believe. Said the astrologer. I had full faith in the science of astrology. But that science has abandoned me. In what way did they abandon themselves, mistress? What has happened as you told the astrologer? Did you ever tell me that my Damayan would die an untimely death like this? Shall I say, Devi? Shall I open my mouth even if I know? If I had, would I not have been included among the perils of the Pandian country? One may say something general about royal families and royal affairs. It is dangerous to say, there is a continent, trouble is coming, an evil planet is watching. And added a Caracalar's horoscope to me not at all. I've never seen it. Said the astrologer. Even if you had seen it, you wouldn't have told it. Even if you had told it, it wouldn't have prevented the accident, would it? 
How can that be, mother? What Brahma am I? Can only Brahma erase written writing? Then what is the use of astrology, astrologer? Mother! Why did you ask this? If people like you don't look at astrology, how can people like me survive? How can the feet of Raja Kumaris touch this poor man's hut? Said the astrologer. Hearing this, Kundave laughed happily. A smile appeared on Vanatha's face as well. Astrologer! Will you say this to all those who come here to ask astrology? Asked the youngest brat. Should I say this to everyone? Kalema and Thiruma are famous all over the world about themselves as incarnated. Can I deal with such people? That is why I said so. But mother! Can you decide the truth of astrology based on what I have not seen and told the astrologer? I told about the lucky horoscope of Pani's Selvara. Something happened in between, isn't the stage of finally becoming the emperor of this planet near? The day has even been set for Patabi Shekham. Said the astrologer. Sir! Hasn't anyone come to see the day for Pani's Selvar's consecration? No, Devi. There are palace priests for that. Anuradha, the prime minister, is a master of astrology. Yes, the day is fixed on the seventh of the month Thai. Is that a good day, astrologer? Very good day, mother. Very well thought out and mentioned. It may be a good day for the consecration. But see if the consecration will take place on that day. What is this question, why should the goddess not walk? They said it was a good day for Sri Rama's christening. But didn't his christening happen on that day? Devi! Sri Rama got a million times more glory that day than a mere consecration. That is why the Ramayana was born. Let it go. Why should they have such doubts now? They see themselves wishing that the consecration should not take place. Their guess is true. Doesn't the world think that there is no one more happy than themselves to climb the golden lion of Bonnie? Of course I deserve such joy. But the obstinacy of this Kajumbalar woman has left me with no joy in it. Do you remember the vow she made in their house when she was a child? Vow? There were so many terrible things that happened that day. I don't really remember anything. Said the astrologer. She made a vow because Bungazali, the runner with Azure, said something to her. She said that she would not climb the lion as long as she lived. Can she climb the lion after she dies, astrologer? Impossible. After hearing such a perverse vow, Kaveri Tai flew into a rage and saw her go away with a flood. Yes, I remember too. I thought that vow was some kind of game. That is the end of the matter now. She will not ascend the throne. He must marry someone else to ascend the throne with my brother. She will serve as a nurse in his palace with the nurses. I can't bear to hear all this, astrologer. Do you remember all they said about this girl? The astrologer said with excitement, I remember well. Devi! Along with the astrological books that I had collected, she took away the horoscopes of the sons and daughters of kings and queens of many countries. But only the horoscope of this woman is imprinted in my mind. The lines on her hand are standing before my eyes. Amini! Even if he doesn't die, what I said about him will not fail. Do they now remember what you said about this girl? I remember very well that I said that the blessed person who marries her will be married to the mother of God and the mother of the earth in one form. I said that the queens of the land and the land will come to penance for the privilege of seeing this mother. I said that the son who is going to rise in her womb will be born with Jayakoti as soon as he is born. Wherever he goes, wherever he sees, I said that it will be a victory. Sir! Your saying such things makes me anxious. The astrologer suddenly sat up and said, Devi! Are you worried? Why are you worried? The days of worry for the Chola Empire and the Chola clan are gone. Do you remember that today is a special day? Yes, today is the day of Margazi Thiruvadhirai. An auspicious day for Shiva. This is an auspicious day for the Chola clan. An auspicious day for the divine Tamil Nadu, goddess. Listen! 
In one of the coming years, a miracle is going to happen in this same Margazi Thiruvadhirai. A child who is the perfect embodiment of Tirumal is going to rise without carrying a conch wheel in his hand. Through that child, this Chola country will reach the highest level it has ever seen before. It's going. Ah! What wonders are going to happen? I may not live to see them. You'll live long enough to enjoy them. Talking like an astrologer possessed, she was listening to Kunda too. Suddenly they heard a noise and both of them looked back. The parrot in the cage was flapping its wings. Vanatha took a piece of straw and threw it at the cat who was trying to jump on it. Throwing it away, he said, Sister. Astrology is useful. It was only with the help of the astrologer that we were able to save this beautiful and sweet talking parrot. Otherwise, the cat would have pinched its wings for so long. She said. 